Human beings simply aren't built to function at the cruising altitude of a 747. A lot of people ask why we would go and do this sort of thing, why we would risk our lives. Our bodies will be literally dying. Hey, we got you. Hold on. Everest is another beast altogether. Often it's not about getting to the top. Everest presents this idea of conquering something or facing something, maybe their fears. Oh, there is also an element in our lives of, well, why would you not try and do as much as you could with your life? Why would you not try and achieve as much as you can? I got to ask the question, you know I do. Why? I have kids. They see a regular guy can follow impossible dreams. Maybe they'll do the same. <laughs> Nothing can ever match that first time. That was the 137th person to climb Everest. The five of us on the summit were the only five people on the mountain above 21,300 feet. And it felt very pristine and very remote, and the mountain felt very big. A lot of the worries and concerns that we have in our everyday lives are forgotten. You go into the mountains, you're dealing with survival, staying alive, making decisions that are directly related to your well-being. You realize that all that baggage that we carry around with us have all been left behind. You become very refreshed, uh, almost like a, a rebirth. This is suffering, man. A few more days, for the rest of your life, you'll be a guy that got to the top of Everest. Go up there with great intentions. Maybe there's a little hubris. Maybe there's a little escapism. And you deal with something that's so much grander than anything you could ever comprehend. And yet you don't really know that until it consumes you. Look at me. Don't do that to me again, eh? For me, Everest is a metaphor for any kind of ambition. You might ask, why do you need to climb Everest? And nobody can really answer that. That's part of why people go on difficult journeys, to find out who they are at the core of themselves. There is competition between every person in this mountain. The last word always belongs to a mountain.